everybody and welcome to the February 2018 episode of Dizzy Knits where I take a break from all the crafting, I mean all the beauty content on this channel and to talk about my other great love which is crafting and occasionally sewing. So February may have been a short month but it's not short on accomplishments. So I've got a couple finished objects to show you guys and then I've got three projects that I'm working on right now. So the first one I want to show is the one that's taken the longest to complete and that is the second Patronus shawl which I call the Vampire Bat Patronus shawl. It's gonna be hard to show it to you guys in all its glory. But there we go, it's completely finished. It's really cozy and snug and wonderful. Um, I will put a link to the pattern down below of the Patronus shawl. I have made two of these. This is my second one. Um, this pattern is really interesting. You start on one end and um, keep increasing. You make these stripes. You keep going. There's a lace panel. Then you start decreasing on this end and go down to this little tiny triangle at the bottom. It's a really cool shape of a shawl. It's actually pretty easy to keep wrapped around you and it can go quite small and scarf-like, which I love. The yarn that I use is Fly Designs Kashmara in Ruby and then Goosey Fibers and it's their MCN base, Merino Cashmere Nylon base in the Grimald colorway, which is basically black. Um, and I called it the Vampire Bat Shawl because it's red and black and I love it. And it's, um, it's really soft and lovely to be around. And then I was inspired by um, the Instagram for Little Knits, which is an online, uh, an online yarn store that I actually used to work at several years ago. And um, she posted a picture of the, this hat, which is the Easy Escher hat, and I will post a link to this down below as well. This hat is pattern was actually um, free during the Winter Olympic Games. I'm not sure if those are still going on for a few more days or not. If they are, you should go get it. This is the hat on my head. It is really stinking cute. And um, I'm not a big color work person, but I found this pretty simple. Um, you start at the brim and then you work through the colors and uh, the chart's very easy to understand and you just make the decreases and then you've got this little top. Isn't the top cute? I like the top of this hat very much. It's a beautiful design. As you can see, it's hard to tell if it's black on red or red on black, depending on how you look at it. Um, I used two shades of Barocco Vintage. So this is the cast iron colorway. It's like a gray black. And then the reddish pink is Sakura. And uh, it only took like half of each skein. So I have a ton left. So I could actually make another one of these. Um, it's a pretty cool hat. It only took me like two days to do. So it's like really fast. I'm thinking of making some this year for Christmas presents for people because it really is fast and easy. And the Baraka Vintage is nice. It's like a wool, um, wool and synthetic fiber blend, acrylic, acrylic. Um, but it's really soft and nice and that little bit of wool helps it to be a little bit warmer. The wind does kind of go through this hat. Um, so it might be a bit better to be made in like real wool, maybe like Cascade 220 or something like that. But anyway, that's that project. Very happy with that. Um, then I thought I would show you guys the sock. I'm almost done with my sock. I'm on the ribbing of a sock. So this is something I'm working on. So there we go. And I did not do a contrast heel like I usually do. I just knit these straight from the ball. I love the stripes on this sock yarn. Um, this is just my vanilla sock. It's 59 stitches and a fish lips kiss heel. And then I'm gonna do about three inches of ribbing at the top and the ribbing is a three, two rib. I am on Chiago lace needles in the size one and they're the really long ones cause I do magic loop, which is just easier for me when I'm doing socks. Um, 
Do I have the ball band? I do. So this is the yarn in the ball. Whoa, there we go. Isn't that cool? It's so cool. I got these to be like my Valentine's Day socks. And while I'm not finishing them in the month of February, I am finishing one of them. So that's cool, like 50% ish done so this is an online super sock and it is the volcano color and this one is is there a number on this bad boy ah it is 2012 party 111 there we go so that's what that sock is there um this is a german sock yarn and it's not the softest but it's really nice to work with um it is a 75% wool, 25% polyamide yarn. I've used super sock yarn before for like hats and stuff and they really wash well and hold up well. So I'm excited to get these off the needles and have another pair of socks because it has been unseasonably weirdly cold. We've had like snow and stuff here in Washington, which we do get occasionally, but we'd gone from being like, my daffodils are blooming and it's like spring to having snow. So it's just confusing. So I need all the wool socks I can get. Um, another thing I'm working on, inspired by all this winteriness, is I cast on a Chuck sweater, which is by Andy Satterland. It is a top-down, seamless sweater um, with cables. That's the cable pattern. Um, which is, I never do complicated cables, and I was surprised how simple this is as long as you follow your chart and use your markers, and uh, you, you should be okay. So this is um, how it's coming so far. I have to do another whole repeat of this big diamond motif guy in the middle, and then this sweater just needs ribbing and sleeves, and it is done. The yarn is reclaimed Morocco vintage. I had uh, in fondant, this very light pink. I never usually wear colors this light, but I think this will be okay. Um, even if it washes me out a little bit, I'll just wear like a scarf or something with it. But um, I'm really enjoying the chuck pattern. I think it's a great way to learn about cables if you're not really a big cable person. Um, it has been surprisingly easy and she really does explain it very well and I love the idea of having this soft cropped um, baby pink sweater to wear with like skirts and stuff. Um, the yarn was reclaimed from a February lady sweater that just with the lace of the February lady and this color I kind of felt like Sophia Petrillo from Golden Girls like I looked like an old lady. And it was, I mean, and I love Sophia, don't get me wrong. She's actually my favorite golden girl, but, <laughs> her and Rose. But um, I, I felt like it was kind of too mama on me. And um, I used to really like very mama looking clothes when I was like in my 20s, but now I'm like 40. <laughs> and I don't want to look like somebody's grandma yet. Not yet. So that is the story of why I ripped that out and have repurposed it. And then finally... Hello, can you focus? The camera, can you focus? There we go, I'm still here, okay. Um, finally, I cast on from my other favorite indie designer, um, who is Amy Appel, who is Poison Girls. I cast on a Frenchie blouse, which right now looks like an octopus. But, let's see if we can organize this bad boy a little bit so you guys can actually like see what you're looking at. Oh good, and the yarn tangled around itself perfection please hold okay so this is a little blouse that has these little bobbles on the top so you knit the back and then you knit down not to give away too much about the pattern but then you knit down from the back to create the front and it is a little short sleeve cropped sweater on DK. I am making this out of deep stash. It's more like a test knit because if I really like the way the sweater looks and fits, just because I'd never really made bobbles before either. I'm learning a lot of techniques this month. Um, I wanted to see if I was gonna like how that looked on me before I used like nice yarn. So this is just Cotton Fair, which I got from Michaels and it's uh, kind of their lavender colorway, which looks nice with my hair right now. 
This stuff is very soft. It's a cotton acrylic mix and it's very, very soft. My only concern is if it's going to hold a shape. That is what I'm worried about is if this blouse is really gonna stretch out on me. So, um, but I'm kind of in priority right now. I'm trying to finish the sock, finish the Chuck sweater, and then work on that um, because I can't wear that until like summer. So yeah, basically that's what's going on. I hope you guys had a good February and uh, I will see you guys next time.